And you have no idea, no clue what happened to you? No. When you think about it, before the ship, before you woke up on the ship, what do you see? Nothing. It's it, it just not there. <sighs> Great. I'm sick of myself, and you don't know who you are. I keep trying things. I, I thought if I could find things that I'm good at, I could... You could put things together. Which was fine for a while. I thought it was, it was okay, but... Then there was all these other things that I was good at, and... And the bank, and... and I think something bad happened. What are you talking about? That something bad happened, something really bad. I don't know, but I have a good Look, feeling. I know all about that, okay? And, it, and if you're this worried about it, then maybe you're not so bad, all right? It sounds like you were in an accident or something. I was shot and stabbed. So you were a victim. There was a gun. I mean, who the hell has a safe deposit box with a gun? All this cash and six passports. Lots of people have guns. I fought my way out of an American embassy. I climbed down a 50-foot wall and out the window. I mean, I did it. I was doing it. I knew how to do it. Um, look, people do amazing things when they're scared, okay? First thing I'm doing, I'm looking for an exit. I'm catching sight lines. I can't sit with my back to the door. Fuck. You're paranoid, okay? You were shot and stabbed. All right, it's, it's natural. I can't tell you the license plate numbers of all three cars out front. I can tell you that our waitress is left-handed, and the guy at the counter weighs 215 pounds and knows how to handle himself. I can tell you that the best, best place to look for a gun is in the cab in that great truck outside. I know that at this altitude, I can run for half a mile before I lose my edge and my left arm starts shaking. I know all these things about myself, and I don't know who I am. God, you're not kidding, are you?